Hey guys, we're going to go over a few things today for your Minimax mules so you get the most out of your machine, so you understand how all the little features work and a little bit of care and maintenance of your machine also. Uh, the Minimax comes with a multi brush system. You don't want to leave the weight of the machine sitting on the brush when it's in the upright position. You want to take this off and put on your pad drive or when it's in your van, you can have it laid down just like it is because you'll have the never spill feature and your tank will never tip over. So you have a few options with that. One of the first things we want to look at is this part is, is a custom aluminum hub, but it's attached to a, a steel shaft. So from time to time, you want to take a little bit of lubrication and you want to spray that down on the shaft so that runs into the connection between the hole of the hub and the shaft of the motor. So that keeps that shaft nice and lubricated. So if you ever need to take this hub off, it'll come off easily for you. You won't have to struggle with it. And the reason you would do that is if you ever had a motor issue and needed to take the motor off, you have to get the hub off. So that's important. Um, everything under here is, is stainless steel or aluminum and the, and the chassis is aluminum. So you're never going to have a rust issue. Let's flip this up. Another thing we want to look at, just a simple feature, is you have an adjustment here. And what happens is when you tilt this back and you get it just the way you like it, you're going to tighten up this little stainless steel clamp. So every time you lower your handle down uh, in the operating position, it's always going to go to that spot and it's perfectly adjusted for you every time. And if you want to change the adjustment, it just takes a couple of seconds. Your mule comes with uh, a storage feature. And what I've done, and if you can see this, this is super heavy duty. It's aluminum, again, a no rust issue. And this will just slide right on here. Now there's a set screw. And then also we've provided two Allen keys. They not only work as your pin, but then if you want to use your set screw, you have the key right there for it, so it's quick and easy for you. Now again, what will happen is when you tilt this back, these will always stay in the upright position so you won't spill the contents of your storage caddy or your solution container. And if you want, if you're in a tighter area and you want to take this off, you pull out your pin, you would loosen up your set screw, slide this off, and just put your key back in. So that's a real neat feature to save time. You also notice that you have lift handles, two on the chassis, and you have two left handles on uh, your main handle tube, just for convenience sake for, for moving your machine from point A to point B. All right, one of the features and options that your machine comes with is you can change your wheels to change the height and the center of gravity of the machine. This is a glass filled poly wheel. The eight inch are rated at 1400 pounds per wheel. They're full precision sealed bearings but the sleeve is not stainless steel. However, the shaft on uh, the back of the Minimax that holds the wheels is precision ground stainless steel. So from time to time, you're gonna wanna put a little bit of lube uh, in here and let that soak down so it gets on the sleeve so the sleeve doesn't rust or you can, you can pop it off with a three quarter inch wrench. You'll just remove your, your uh, stainless steel insert nut and you can slide the uh, the axle out and you can replace wheels or do do your maintenance on the machine you'll also notice if you zoom in here a little bit Jay um, there's rubber gaskets uh, rubber washers that we put between the metal parts this is done so there's no rattle there's no noise while you're operating the machine we do that in a variety of locations for our valve systems, there's 3M uh, double stick adhesive tape before we fasten them so you don't get rattles in this machine. So, but you want to be aware of that when you're taking your machine apart, when you put it back together so these are in the right place. The next item we're going to look at is instead of uh, r traditional hoses and quick connects, we use a push lock tubing. It's great. It doesn't rust. It doesn't really wear out. It's a fantastic item and it's lightweight. The trick to operating this is you're going to pull in on this green grommet 
and you're going to push in on the tube. While continuing to pull in on the green grommet, you're going to pull out the tube. If you try to do that without pulling in, it just doesn't come apart. So after a couple times of practice, it's real easy. So what you want to do is when it's time to fill the tank, you just disconnect that here. That way it doesn't pull out the blue feeder tube and put that in the wrong position. And you always have a, a, a good uh, supply of cleaning solution to your machine. This also comes with an inline filter strainer. Um, let's take a look at that. And all you need to do for the maintenance and care of that is unscrew the ball, pull out the stainless steel uh, insert, clean that off, put it back in, and pop it back in line and, and you're ready to go. And that keeps your pump clean, that keeps everything nice and clean so you don't get clogs and, and downtime with your machine. The Minimax Mule comes with a feature that allows you to use the front low drift sprayer or you can do a shower feed. In this handle position, and this is shown in your owner's manual, this is set up for the front sprayer. If you want to turn this off and turn the shower feed on, you'll pull that up. If you want them both off, you'll put them both up. Okay. Now, when you get your machine and you need to prime it, what you're going to do is if you just open one of them, it may not be enough to prime. Open both for a few seconds, it lets all the air out, it'll prime very, very quickly for you. Uh, it works every time and you'll prime your machine easily. So that's a nice little trick to know so you're not sitting there for minutes waiting for the pump to prime. All right, I'm 234 pounds today. Gained a little weight since the last video. This is the same high quality pad drive we used in the beginning. You can leave the 85 pound machine on this all day long. It will not hurt these bristles. This is tough. It's made to last a lifetime. It comes with a metal clutch plate. We put a plastic clutch plate on the multi brush. It's a little easier uh, to swap out. You can interchange the uh, clutch plates on, on either brush drive depending on the way you like it. And another feature of your machine to go along with the six and eight inch wheels, get this out of the way, is you can remove the riser. So if you take the riser off, go from the eight inch wheels to the six inch wheels, you lower the machine height an inch and a quarter. Your system will come with extra hardware, the short screws, so if you move the, the riser, you can just pull these out and put your clutch plate right into the pad drive. You can also take this wheel off uh, take the stud out and this allows you to get in closer uh, to obstacles or reach underneath a couch or, or something of, of that nature. So we have, a, we have that over here and if you look, if you pull the stud out for the, for the side bumper wheel, the, your pad drive is going to stick out past your chassis and your bonnet's going to stick out past your pad drive. So you can reach several inches under an item uh, so you can detail really nicely and get close.